Well, here it is. The Air Venturi Avenger. 25. It's kind of cool how it says all this real big lettering. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio, USA. All rights reserved. 25 cal. And if you notice underneath the barcode, made in Chickadee, China. The Chinese chicken. Anyway, I just figured I'd do a quick unboxing with it and maybe, uh, you know, see what it shoots out of the box and tune it from there. I have not opened it. It was not taped. It did come with a big chingalero. The box that it was packed in had the chingalero in it too, where it looks like it got kind of smashed in shipping. I don't suspect that that's going to be a big deal, but we will see. Haven't opened it. You're seeing it first time I'm seeing it. So, there she is. Comes with a little Allen key. L. Manuel. I'll try to get through this kind of quick. Two magazines, like the Marauder style magazine, or the Gauntlet, or whatever you want to call them. Anyway. Allen key. My guess is that's to adjust the regulator. Uh, like some other thing in here. Oh, a couple little O-rings. I think that's for the probe because they say to keep that probe good and lubed. To throw a little, uh, what is it, silicone grease? Yeah, some, any non-petroleum product grease on there. Pretty light. Out of the bag. There she is. Uh, does not look like there's any pressure in the gun whatsoever. This is kind of interesting. It's some steel in there and uh, quite a bit of force to cock it. It was shipped on safe. just like any other. Oh, there she is. There's no pressure in the gun whatsoever. We're going to see if it holds pressure. And then uh, one of those is the uh, adjustment for the regulator. So we're going to air her up and kind of see how she shoots. Also comes with this nice uh, single shot tray. This feels like it's billet aluminum. It's kind of nice. Looks like there's a couple little magnets on it. Kind of goes down in there and kind of clips in there pretty good. <laughs> Always a good idea to clean the barrel on a new gun. I'm using the half cotton patches and some ballast all. I'm just going to soak these cotton patches down. Some ballast all and uh, run through with my patchworm. Generally I don't even put any of the plugs on the patchworm, especially to start off with, because the last thing you really want to do is get your patch jammed in the barrel. I've got the gun cocked. It's on safe. There's air in the gun, which still is kind of a... Mm. Anyway, these are kind of a bitch. Usually I, I fold them in half. Especially since it's, I think it's a 177 is the green plug. No. All right, 
that's about as clean as I care to get it. That was all the wet patches. I think I ran about five or six through them. And these are the dry patches. I'm still getting smedge out of it. But uh, I'm tired of doing it. I spent about ten minutes doing it. Uh, okay. Just to recap what I've done so far. I've essentially, when I gassed the gun up originally, the regulator was set right around 2,900 PSI, which in my opinion is way too high. So I did what uh, Steve Shelley suggested, and I degassed the gun, I turned the regulator all the way in, and then backed it out a quarter turn. Right now it's sitting right around 1,000 PSI. Um, I clean the barrel. We're going to use our test pellets, which are the JSB King 25.39 grain pellets. <clears throat> Got my X FX chronograph up there, and we're going to see what it shoots. Again, I clean the, clean the barrel. It seemed like it was taking forever to clean it. I just eventually got uh, sick of doing it. So it's not spotless, but uh, we'll see how it works out. This is going to be the first pellet ever shot out of my Air Venturi Avenger. Now we're going to throw the magazine in just to uh, kind of equalize the guns, the rifle, and see where we're at. It's the first time I've ever stuck the magazine in here, so let's see how that goes. Pretty good. Nice little affirmative flick. Let's see how, how she feeds. Ooh, that's rough. Alright. Back her off a bit. Let's see what the problem might be. She feeds pretty good. So you really gotta snap that magazine in there in order to get her to feed. Okay. My eye relief is not the greatest on this scope. Actually, these rings should be lower. Of course, not low enough to where it's gonna hit the magazine and not low enough to where your bell is gonna hit the barrel, but I could easily lower this this scope every bit of an eighth to a quarter of an inch. I have not shot at the target yet, so let's see where she hit. Okay, she's way off to the left. Got to keep that in mind. And we got nothing out of the chronograph. Oh, there might be a reason why. Because I'm not on the home screen. Alright, let's try that again and see if we can get something out of the chronograph. Oh. That's, you know, it's not horrible cocking. It, it sure isn't a dream line. And nothing out of the chronograph again. That could be because we're going too slow. I doubt it. Well, let me see if I can figure it out. I'll get back to you. I think I know what it is. The chronograph tied out or I shut the chronograph off. Yeah. All right, let's try this. They're feeding pretty smooth. I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not a dream line, but. 654. 654. Okay, that's exactly what I suspected. The, uh, what do we have on the, uh, I mean, we are. We're still 
3,500 PSI on the tank. Just kind of throw it out there. So I turned the rag as low as I could get it. So now I'm going to start cranking up the regulator until I get these uh, Kings JSB Haiti or no they're not Hades JSB Diablo matches uh, 25.39 grains to fly I want them flying around 860 so that when I put ideally what I what I want to do is I want to shoot the Hades right around 840 because I found that that's the sweet spot at 50 yards you get plenty of penetration in the squirrel, bird, anything really. And it just, except for this daily, and it just uh, seems to be spot on it, with my FX rifles. We'll see if the same result turns out with the Avenger. My suspicion is that it will. But I'm going to go ahead and crank the rag up a little bit. And hopefully get us right around uh, 850 and then I'm gonna start to crank the hammer spring down to see how much hammer spring I need in order to get that velocity if that makes any sense because once you reach your velocity with your regulator pressure normally you don't need as much hammer spring as it takes to get that velocity so you start turning your hammer spring back until you start slowing down and then normally that's when the gun is in balance or the rifle is in balance all right the tools of choice according to steve shelley you really don't have to crank the regulator very much now i've got my old man eyes and again this regulator is well below a thousand, or just below a thousand, I should say. And you gotta pull this little stupid plug out of here, which, by the way, doesn't have anything attached to it. So you might wanna hang on to it. Now you loosen the regulator, so lefty loosey, and should be able to hear something. Okay, I loosened it a little bit. You can tell that rig went up just a hair. And uh, we're going to see where we're at from there. Essentially, I'm going to walk it up to where I'm getting about 860 out of this JSB match Kings 25.39 grains. And then uh, we'll see where we're at. So, I was on my 18th shot. I was cranking up the regulator. You can see it's a 782. I was gradually bumping up the regulator. Took that 18th shot, fired it, and the gun totally degassed. I think what I have here is a catastrophic failure. And my guess is it's the regulator. Um, this gun's going back. Okay, so on the 18th or 19th, it, it might have been closer to 25 shots. That that would be the max that I think I got out of this rifle. Um, I ran into an issue on probably the 25th or 26th pellet ran down this barrel is that the gun just totally degassed. It was sitting right around... 300 PSI um, on the tank and probably uh, 1100 PSI on the regulator. Now, when I go to try to fill, fill the rifle up, all that happens is that any air I put into it comes out the barrel. Just blowing, blowing straight out the barrel. 
so my assumption is the regulator went bad or something went bad and maybe this is a um, karma for me saying in my pre one of my previous videos that I don't hear people complaining about going from 300 bar to 100 bar on a regulator I don't know but nevertheless the rifles going back and uh, you know hopefully you or uh, the retailer that I bought it from will make it right I doubt it but thanks for watching so my final thoughts on this video well it was nothing short of a total failure um, the air venturi won't hold air now my guess is the regulator is blown out I'm not exactly sure why and like I said maybe one of my previous videos might come to bite me in the ass but my gun or this rifle came and it was completely degassed and I have a friend that also ordered one same caliber same same rifle and he said he was sitting right around 1200 PSI so I'm wondering if this one just wasn't one of them lemons in the group I'm gonna have to give it the benefit of the doubt let's hopefully I won't be done wrong I'm already kind of done wrong and you know how that goes when you buy something that has a catastrophic failure like within five minutes of you using it so we'll see where it goes from there let's hope you know the retailer does me right or at least Air Venturi does me right I don't know we got the chickadee china the Chinese chicken well we'll see how it works out but I'll keep you posted thanks for watching please like and subscribe and all that Thank <laughs> you.